This is a really important event because it brings all of us together in Ramsey County. And whenever there's a big incident, everybody's got each other's backs. Many in law enforcement say it's the camaraderie which connects them. A community helping guide officers through the perils of the job. A community which extends to police survivors. It's events like these things. It's like we're back almost like day one. These survivors, the families of officers killed in the line of duty, are recognized every year at the law enforcement memorial service. Today we stand united in mourning alongside you. And for Roseville officer Bruce Russell's family, the 40 years since his death haven't eased his absence from their lives. Remembering sometimes it just goes to the very fiber of your being and you remember. And um, Bruce was very, uh, Bruce loved his job, loved his job. He was very proud to be a Roseville police officer. Among the sense of loss is a sense of hope. Survivors celebrated the appearance by Roseville police officer Ryan Duxbury, who was shot in the face a month earlier. Uh, the nose is where it went. Oh. The Roseville Police Department hosted this year's event and White Bear Lakes Police Department had a real presence representing the Honor Guard. And Sergeant Eric Gadboy offering to play taps having just learned in anticipation of the service. I have a lot of butterflies right now, yes. It's just one of those things where you only have one chance to get it right and uh, I don't like to be the center of attention, if I can help it. Roseville Police Chief Erica Scheider talked about Chief Julie Swanson among the first offering her support the night Officer Duxbury was shot. Chief Swanson has been a mentor to me for a number of years, so really fortunate to um, have her uh, as a colleague here in Ramsey County. Uh, her two sons work for our department, so uh, there, there also is that connection as well. And we were really fortunate the night of the incident. I was out of town, unfortunately, but that one of the first calls I received was from Chief Swanson saying, what can I do to help? And she immediately responded to the police department and was able to assist until I could get back to the metro area. She says it's what makes the service extra meaningful, in addition to both honoring those killed in the line of duty and celebrating the lives preserved on April 5th. I think we all recognize that things could have turned out very differently that night. Um, thankfully, Officer Duxbury is doing okay, but it kind of makes you pause and realize what, what, how tragic this could have been, um, not only for him, but for the other officers that responded to the um, citizens that were in the, the residents that were, you know, seeking cover. This impacted a lot of people, so I think the ceremony is, um, although it's always um, important to us this year, it, it certainly holds a, a special place in our heart.